Hey everyone, this is Dawn Michelle, and I wanted to jump on here and share a few thoughts that I, um, I've i been having over the past month or so. And it all stemmed from a question that I asked myself. And I'm sure some of the information that I'm going to share will be helpful for you also as you're walking your path and as you're deciding what you want your life to look like, what do you want your relationships to look like, what do you want your um, your contribution to the world to look like and the question that I asked myself is what are you attracting Dawn what are you asking to be in your life right now based on your thoughts your actions and your daily habits what are those things what what are you both consciously and unconsciously asking your life to become as a result of what you think what you do and what you believe you know, um, and, and I want to make that distinction between what you think and what you believe, because a lot of what we believe is unconscious. It comes out in our actions, even though we may say, you know, we think one thing, our beliefs will cause us to act in a different way. So, for an example, um, if you're you're dating or if you're interested in being in a long term partnership and relationship, you may think you know, I'm ready for a relationship. I'm, I'm ready to find that one person that I can build and grow and um, just explore life with. But your beliefs might be, you know, men cheat. I'll, I'll never find someone who's just going to be completely into me. Or women are always, you know, unhappy. There's no way to please them. That's your belief. But you're thinking something else. Those two things don't match up and you're going to get confusion and you're going to get a connection on, and a relationship that's not going to last. And some people never really understand why it's not lasting or why relationships are difficult for them. But it's because what they're thinking is different from what they really believe in their heart. You, you get the things that you have the most emotional expression and connection to. So if you hold a belief about relationships, about male or female, that is negative, that is restrictive, that is destructive, you really should not be surprised when that happens in your life or happens in your relationship. And the same thing if we talk about money. If you have an idea that money is limited, that only certain people can make money, that is what you're going to experience. If that is your belief, that is what you're going to experience because you have so much emotion tied to it. Regardless of what you say to people, what you post, what you talk, you know, what you talk about in your conversations with people, your deep beliefs that are rooted in your heart, that is really what's going to dictate what you what you experience in your life. So, having that thought process over the last month, I had to reflect and look back and ask myself, what are you attracting? And I had to make sure I was in alignment with what I said I desired for my life. And that took me getting quiet, you know, and really dealing with my thoughts versus my beliefs. And I had to work that stuff out because some of them weren't lining up. And as a result, um, things that were, were happening in my life were not flowing the way I really wanted them to flow. And if they were flowing, it was trickles or it was very sporadic and it wasn't consistent. And when those things started happening in my life, that's when I knew I needed to make a shift and I needed to make a change. So I had to sit there and ask myself, what are you attracting? What do you want your life to look like? What do you want to experience each and every day? And for me, I mean, you've heard me, guys, you've heard me share this with you guys a lot. Peace is my utmost desire for my daily life, to feel good every day, to have the greatest expression of love to myself and to others and from others to myself, um, to experience abundance in every area of my life, not just you know financially, but in relationships and love and pleasure and passion, all of those things. So I really want a life that feels good, that looks good, and that can extend goodness out to others. So I had to look, is what I'm saying, those things that I say I want, lining up with what I believe, lining up with what, I, what I'm holding deep in my heart that's influencing my daily habits and patterns and actions. 
And when certain things weren't lining up, I had to do the work to get them back into alignment, which is setting my intention on those things that I desire and not focusing on the things that I don't want or the things that aren't lining up. But then to also each day ensure that my thoughts are lining up with my beliefs and vice versa. It's, it's daily work to keep yourself in alignment and to keep yourself living the life that you are desiring to live. It's not a one time you do a prayer or you meditate and then that's it. You Daily, you have to keep yourself on track because there's a world outside of you that can have some pull and influence over your path if you aren't sturdy enough in knowing who you are, why you are, and what you're here to do. So that's why you, you have to ask some of these reflective questions as you go along in your daily life and on your journey because things change. You change as you get older. You change as your relationships shift, as you leave one relationship and you enter into another one. You change and it's always vitally important to check in with yourself, to make sure you are giving yourself the best that you deserve and as a result, you have the best to give others. So that was a very big and powerful <laughs> uh, takeaway that I had over the past month. And I wanted to put that question out to you guys. What are you attracting? Are your thoughts lining up with your beliefs? And if they're not, what can you do today to realign yourself? It's a beautiful day here in Maryland, so I hope wherever you are is just as beautiful. Take some time to get out into nature and to really ask yourself that question and allow the answer to come. Don't resist it. Don't try and reason it away. Don't try to be logical. Allow it to come and then ask the answer, what should I do next about what I just heard? And see what happens. Thank you guys for listening. You'll be hearing more from me as the, uh, the weeks and the months go on. Um, so I hope the things that I shared with you today will be helpful. That is Duke, if you guys know anything about my, my life, my son's pup. <laughs> but um, take care, guys, and have an amazing weekend. Peace and blessings.